Imagine an Atlantis-like megapolis rising from the sea, an urban development similar in size to New York's Manhattan that boasts thriving businesses and residential districts to transform not just one city, but an entire country. It sounds quite utopian, but one country in Africa is building such a city from scratch. Join us today as we explore this billion-dollar megaproject that has become one of the most discussed development projects in the world. Eco Atlantic City, also known as Nigeria International Commerce City, is a great new coastal city being built on Victoria Island next to Lagos, Nigeria. It is being built on land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean, mainly to solve the chronic property shortage in the world's fastest-growing megacity. Initially conceived in 2003 as a solution to environmental hazards arising from the flooding of the Lagos Bar Beach, the construction of the Eco-Atlantic project began in 2008. The city stands on 10 million square meters of land wrested from the ocean and protected by an 8.5 kilometer long wall. Having a total of 10 districts, it is projected to be the size of Manhattan's skyscraper district. The city will be self-sufficient and sustainable, and it will include modern urban design, its own power generation, clean water, advanced telecommunications, and efficient living standards. Over the years, the Eco-Atlantic project has evolved into housing one of the most expensive real estate locations in Africa. It is a central point for investors who benefit from rich development growth based on massive demand, and a gateway to the continent's emerging markets. Set to become the next generation of real estate in Africa, Eco-Atlantic City combines residential, commercial, financial, and tourist accommodation in a location powered by state-of-the-art high-tech infrastructure. The construction of the city was offered to China Communications Construction Group, a company that works in the field of marine dredging and landfill operation. The first phase of the project, consisting of dredging, construction of the dam, and sand filling, will take about six years. Over a total length of 6,500 meters and an average width of 1,260 meters, about 91 million cubic meters of sand will be used in total to construct the base of the city. In addition, Eco-Atlantic is protected by a coastal revetment known as the Great Wall of Lagos, which is a planned 8.5 kilometers long barrier constructed primarily of rock and faced with concrete acropod armor. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. South Energics Nigeria, the developer and urban planning company for Eco Atlantic City, has unveiled the development plan for the first phase of urban development. The buildings to be built in the first phase of Eco Atlantic City include a 26 story building that will bear the name of Azuri Peninsula. It will be home to 120 luxury apartments. The development will also include a five star marina and yacht club with an attractive walkway, high end shops, cafes, and a wealth of amenities in a curated and sophisticated setting. The architecture will preserve the award-winning global design and provide the most affordable place to live, work, play and invest. The second phase of the project is expected to last two years. In this phase, first-class roadworks, the construction of drainage systems, and an own power plant for constant power supply will be carried out. It will also install a water supply system, sewage network, and treatment systems such as those provided in developed cities around the world. Eco-Atlantic is said to be an antidote to Lagos' deepest recession in 30 years. The city is expected to create 250,000 new jobs and address the housing shortage caused by the growing population. But what makes the development of Eco-Atlantic particularly remarkable is its location. The planned city directly borders Lagos. Since Eco-Atlantic was built by dredging and piling up land worth 10 kilometers, the peninsula was virtually non-existent before the project began in 2009. The result is that Eco-Atlantic looks like an island created out of nothing. 
Eco-Atlantic City is said to be at least 40% larger than the existing Victoria Island. The city targets 250,000 residents and 200,000 commuters who flock to work on the island every day. As a concession holder and principal developer, Eco-Atlantic City Development is authorized to lease any property. It is then up to the investor to build what he wants on his land, according to the set guidelines. Eco-Atlantic will offer the most modern amenities available worldwide today. First-class roads with canals for the drainage of surface water are provided. In addition to an enviable sewage collection system, it is also intended to provide high-quality drinking water that has a sewer network that runs throughout the city and serves the sewage system that flows into a sewage treatment plant to be built on the eastern border. The development includes everything from skyscrapers to luxury apartments, a new financial district, a private power grid, and a shopping boulevard modeled after New York's Fifth Avenue. Other features include an independent 24-7 power supply, fiber optic communication links to each property, elevated street levels to accommodate underground parking spaces above groundwater, seamless documentation and construction permit process, and two large marinas connected by an internal waterway. Eco-Atlantic development is being carried out as a public-private partnership, with private companies and investors providing the funding, whilst Lagos state government remains as a strategic partner, along with the federal government. South Energics Nigeria Limited is working in strategic partnership with the state and local governments. Well-known national and international banks have seized the opportunities quickly, with some of Nigeria's largest including FCMB, First Bank, Access Bank, and Guarantee Trust Bank, partnering with Eco-Atlantic, with support from foreign banks BNP Paribas Fortis and KBC. Experts say the project will cost at least $6 billion and a square foot of land in the city is now being sold for nearly $2,000. By the end of 2020, a few buildings, most notably Eco Pearl Towers have been completed, with several more under construction and at planning stages. The city has also become an active venue for popular Afro concerts and sports events like the Lagos City Marathon and Copa Lagos. While Eco-Atlantic will alleviate the housing problems in the metropolis, its great potential lies in the economic benefits for the state and the population. With the establishment of the free trade zones and the current dynamic focus on infrastructure development, those who need a quieter and safer environment for their operations and business and want to be part of a new border can move to the new city. For savvy investors, Eco-Atlantic City means much more than just rising land values in Lagos. As Nigeria continues on its unstoppable path to becoming Africa's financial capital, an investment in Eco-Atlantic which is presently recognized as the world's most promising growth horizon, will open up unprecedented opportunities to unlock the broader potential of the continent as a whole. There is hardly a project without controversy, and the Eco-Atlantic City is no different. Residents who live nearby criticize Eco-Atlantic City, as the ongoing construction work has recently caused coastal erosion and ocean flooding. The amount of water displaced from Bar Beach would seep away to another area, threatening the coastal landscape of Nigeria. Moreover, Eco-Atlantic is often criticized for being very susceptible to rising tides as it is based on an artificial sandbank right by the sea. The seawater flows through residential areas, floods access roads, and tears down electricity pylons. This has also forced some of the residents to move elsewhere. However, the Great Wall of Lagos is supposed to prevent coastal erosion and flooding and protect this future city. What are your thoughts on this upcoming mega project? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.